In this video, I'll show you how you can upgrade your copy of Windows 7 to Windows 10 in 2020. As some of you may not know, Windows 7 was actually released on October 22nd, 2009. And Microsoft decided to provide a commitment of 10 years of product support for Windows 7. Well, that 10 year period has now ended. In fact, it ended on uh, January 14th, 2020. So just a couple of days ago, right before the launch of Windows 10, Microsoft announced that it would allow Windows 7 users as well as Windows 8.1 users to upgrade to Windows 10 for no charge whatsoever. What a lot of people don't know is that the activation server for that upgrade process has remained intact all this time. They originally said that they would allow people to upgrade for a period of one year, and after that one year had come and gone, that possibility of activating uh, a Windows 7 license and use it with Windows 10 uh, supposedly disappeared. But I decided to test the rumors that are going around today and see if I could take a copy of Windows 7, successfully upgrade it and activate it so that it was a legitimately licensed copy of Windows 10. What I've done is I've purchased an old copy of Windows 7 and installed it on a virtual machine on my computer. But one of the things of note is to take a look in my system tray and notice the date, of course, this is January 16, which is uh, earlier today for me, and it's 2020. So. I'm going to open up uh, a browser here and we're going to go over to search for Windows 10 ISO and we're going to go to the Microsoft site. It's the first link when, when you search for that and we're going to download the Windows 10 installation media tool at this point here. So you'll be able to see that. We're going to open that up. Click yes when prompted. And this is not a fast process. So like I said, uh, probably about a one hour process in total. So get, get yourself a cup of coffee, maybe some snacks. And, uh, you know, again, it's a bit of a gamble because officially Microsoft is not saying that you can upgrade Windows 7 to Windows 10 for free. Their official stance is that they want you to buy a new computer that comes with Windows 10 rather than con continue to use old hardware. So you'll obviously have to agree to the license and terms for Microsoft Windows 10. So at one point you're going to receive a notification from the tool uh, asking you what do you want to do and you have two choices. And for this to work, you can't choose create installation media, USB flash drive, DVD, or ISO file for another PC. You must choose upgrade this PC now. Okay, so we're getting real close here. Progress is 99%. And of course, like all things, oh, we're just verifying our download and Progress is back to 0%. So just when you think you're almost done, you're not. So we're about 89%, 90, oh, 100%. Setup is cleaning up before it finishes. And now we're seeing checking for updates. Now you can see that we're getting a few things ready. Oh, and now we have the terms and conditions. We're going to accept those. And now we're seeing, making sure you're ready to install. This might take a few minutes. It keeps saying that it might take a few minutes or this might take some time. Microsoft Security Essentials is obviously replaced by uh, new software that takes care of security for you on Windows 10. So it needs you to just confirm that it's gonna uninstall Microsoft Security Essentials before you proceed. So make sure you just click confirm. 
So now it looks like it's ready to install. And what we're doing is we're installing Windows 10 Pro. We're keeping our personal files and apps. And apparently that's important. If you choose to do a clean install, uh, that's not technically an upgrade. So obviously uh, don't change what you keep. Stick with what's set here and then go ahead and click the install button when you're ready. So now we're seeing uh, progress continue with installing Windows 10. Obviously we're kicked out of Windows 7 at this point and uh, there's a warning that you your system will probably restart several times and this might take a while. So again, go ahead and get a fresh cup of coffee. So now we're seeing a message, your PC will restart in a few moments. And we see that Windows 7 Professional is now shutting down. And for those that have installed Windows 10 before, you'll start to recognize this new color scheme and uh, modern, modern interface. So this is currently working on updates and this will take a while. So I'm sitting at about 97% here. I'm feeling like this is uh, a good sign. We haven't had any interruptions other than a couple of restarts there along the way. Again, I've edited this video for time just so that we don't have to see uh, a blue screen for an hour. So now the familiar login for Windows 10 for those that have experienced this. Looks like our Windows 7 is gone. Actually, it's not actually gone. You could still revert back at this point if you decided that uh, this doesn't work. But obviously there's some updates between Windows 7 and Windows 10 and even updates for Windows 10 since its release because it's been a couple of years now. So uh, again, this will take several minutes or many minutes. So now you'll arrive at the choose privacy settings for your device and you can decide to either uncheck or check any of these options. I just left them all uh, as yes for now and I clicked accept. Ta-da! So we have Windows 10 running on this computer or in my case virtual machine. And the true test whether this has been successful or not is to go into your Windows settings. And from the settings window, you can type in activation settings and select that option. And there we can confirm that this is Windows 10 Professional. And the good news is, is that Windows is activated with a digital license. So this is a legitimate version of Windows 10 and I didn't pay anything other than my original license for Windows 7. So good news, I can't promise or guarantee that this will work for every single person, but if you follow these basic steps, you should be able to get Windows 10 on your aging Windows 7 machine and continue to use it for years to come. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.